Hi there, welcome to my YouTube channel Bad Book Thief. Um, this is Asha Sher and let me begin with an apology because this book review was long due but here I am uh, finally getting on with this review. Now um, I was in a fix as to which book should I review this is why I had asked you guys a while back as to which book should I review now I remember that I had given you three choices uh, first one which was um, Leo Tolstoy's what men live by the second one which was Paulo Coelho's the alchemist and the third one being Francis Hodgson Burnett's the little princess so you guys helped me pick this book and that's what I'm going to review today uh, the book is the Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Um, as a reader, I have a habit of doing some bit of a background study, some bit of a research uh, before getting uh, started with a book. In this case, uh, more so because The Alchemist was not something that I had picked up by myself, but it was recommended to me by a friend at a time which I'd rather not think about, a very rough phase in life, but thanks to The Alchemist, yes, it did help me a lot. So yes, when I studied about The Alchemist before starting it, I learned a lot of interesting things about it. The author, Paulo Coelho, he started writing the book in 1987 and he finished the book in just two weeks. Now seriously, how often does that happen to us, to writers, to authors? And a product that came out of two weeks but became a global sensation. It went on to become the most translated book in the world. Um, it's about more than 60 languages that this book has been translated into. Getting on with the review now, um, there are a lot of things that I can talk about this. In fact, I can keep talking and talking because uh, like I said that the first time that I read it, which was about maybe in 2004 or 2005, it was in such a phase of life that I trusted less, that I believed in less. Yeah, there are times in life that make you, that, that get you so low that you do not know what to do with your own self, with your life. And that was the time that this book knocked upon my door. And yes, it gave me reasons to start believing in things again. Now, as cliched or as lame as this might sound, but some people who really love it as much as I do will probably understand what I'm talking. Getting on with the review, um, The Alchemist is about the journey of a boy named Santiago from Andalusia in Spain. Now, Santiago keeps getting these recurrent dreams that there is a treasure waiting for him somewhere and he's supposed to chase it, he's supposed to follow it. Now, uh, he's wondering what he should do because he's very happy, he's very comfortable with his life. But somewhere, somewhere in his heart, Santiago keeps feeling that he should, no matter what, chase this dream. As Santiago begins his journey, he meets a lot of people on the way. He travels through a lot of different regions and everything adds on to his experience, enriching his life. He meets a gypsy woman who tells him that in order to get his treasure, he's supposed to go to the pyramids in Egypt. And once he starts to travel on the way, he meets the king of Salem. He meets a lot of other people and everybody in some or the other way nudge him to follow his dream. So, that's as far as the story goes and believe me that's not all there's a lot more to it um, and the end is what makes it even more um, interesting for the lack of a good word i'm not going to disclose it here but yeah once you read it you'll see how everything that happens to you every coincidence that you feel is lame is stupid is meant to teach you something is meant to take you somewhere and every uh, all of those little things have been amplified here have been brought to the fore by the author to show you how every little thing that happens in life makes sense. The story goes about the characters, like I said, Santiago, you live his journey um, as you travel through the book. It's mere 160 pages, but as you read through the story and while you reach the end, you realize a lot of things have happened. You don't feel it's a, it's a matter of only 160 pages that you've traveled, you know, through his journey. So, uh, so yes, the characters make a lot of sense because in some or the other way like I said that they add to your experience uh, right from the king of Salem to the gypsy woman to the uh, baker who he keeps meeting every now and then to the alchemist who he finally meets and also the love of his life so 
uh, I think what I want to say is the characters are really well built. Um, some of them have not been given so much of a prominence in the story because maybe they do not have that greater a part to play in. So that was the second point, the characters. The third point uh, that I really want to talk about is the language. Now for a book to be grand, to be great, to be successful, language plays a, a very big role. Now this book is written in such a simple lucid language that even if it has to be uh, a kid from school who's reading it or somebody uh, who's in college, somebody who's working or you're probably 60 years old, it's going to leave an impact with everybody. Not once you will feel that you're not following what the author is saying. The dialect is so simple. The choice of words is so beautiful. The Alchemist is a book that has got something in it for everybody, no matter what age you are, no matter what mood brings you to the book. It's only 160 pages and honestly, how could it harm you? Quickly, three reasons why you should read The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Let me summarize it for you. The story. The story is great. Second is the characters. Uh, thirdly, the language, like I said, is beautiful. It's meant for anyone and everyone. And if you agree with me when you read this book or if you've read it before and you love The Alchemist, do let me know. Share it in the comments below and um, I'll be more than happy to discuss it with you. So yes, that's about it. I'll be back soon with another book review. Thank you very much once again for staying with me through this review. Um, I am a lot fidgety in this review. I know a lot nervous as well. This is my first review. So pardon me for everything. And I do apologize once again for being this late if you guys have been waiting for me. And um, I'll make sure that going forward, I have regular videos out here. The review is also available on my blog, which is www themusingquill.com once again www.themusingquill.com um, if you if you liked what I do somebody who believes that you know um, the world inside books makes more sense than the world around you then this is the channel for you um, you can also visit my blog and also my Instagram handle which is bad book thief uh, once again it is bad book thief and you can subscribe to this channel and um, I'll see you again soon with another book review until then goodbye